So now I'm just going to move on to... Hello, so for today's video, this is going to be my easy go-to makeup. So it's basically really easy makeup. It's just like two eyeshadows, a little bit of a lipstick, still a lot on the face because we've got to cover up some stuff. But yeah, let's jump into the video. So to start off, I'm just going to fill in my brows quickly. So I take the Anastasia Brow Wiz in taupe. So I've already used the Brow Veil Conditioning Primer. I rave about this all the time. I love it from Benefit. Um, oh my goodness, I'm nearly at this. And yeah, I just put that on, let that dry, and then I'm back to using the pencil. Then I like to take a bit of Benefit Gimpy Brows. So this is in the shade one, and I'll just run that through the front end of brows. Then to highlight the brow bone, I'm going to take the, this is now I Heart Revolution, I Heart Makeup. Um, so this is the Goddess of Love Triple Baked Highlighter. So I'm literally just going to take a little bit of that on a crown brush C510. I'm just going to pop that underneath the brow bone. So I just like to lift the brow and put it more or less directly underneath the arch. And then just take the other side of the brush and just blend it outwards. Then for eyelid primer, I'm just going to take the Revolution Makeup Prime and Lock Longwear Eyeshadow Primer. So I'll just take a little dot of that on each eyelid. And then I blend it out with a Crown Brush Duo Fiber Blending Brush. So I take this flat side first. Then for eyeshadow palettes, I like to take the Dose of Colour Desi and Katie Frankation palette. So this is what the palette looks like. I've just dipped my finger into the blue one. Yeah, I did. Um, I usually just take a little bit of this shade here, which is Churro. So I will take that on a crown brush C441. And I'll dip into it lightly because it is really pigmented. Like all the Dose of Colours eyeshadows are very pigmented. Um, I just like a little wash of colour. Um, you could typically take a bronzer if you wanted to, but I feel like bronzer like really washes me out a little bit especially just like on the eyelids i don't know why i just feel like it does but obviously you can go with whatever palette i just really like the darkness of this brown so i'm just going to take that through the crease i'm just going to blend it out a little bit further with the crown brush this is just the other side if you wanted to line it up a little bit then you can always take a bit of this shade here which is necessary um, just add a little double of that through the crease as well and then what I'll do is I will take a bit of this shade up here which is basic and I will just put put a little bit of that all over the lid just to basically set it into place so I'll take that on the Spectrum A16 and I just blend out a little bit more just back into the crease and that's basically it for eyes for now. So I'm going to move on to the skin. So I'm going to take the Nip and Fab Rose Gold Essence. And I'm literally just going to take a little bit of that on my hands. About five drops. Just rub it in. Put this into the skin. So for foundation today, I'm going to mix the Maybelline Fit Me Poreless in 100. And then the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in Porcelain. So what I do is I just take them onto a back of the palette. I usually take two pumps of the e.l.f. foundation one and then pump in a little, no not pump, like a dollop of, um, can't get my words out, of the Maybelline one. I literally just mix it onto a palette. Use like this little spatula thing and I'll just, just go like this on the face and then I'll take a damp beauty blender and just blend that out. Then to highlight and conceal, I'm going to take the ColorFX Power Play Concealer in N Fair 2. So I just take little dots along the face. And then while I just let that sit there for a minute or two, I take the Rimmel Instant Duo Contour Stick. So this is in light. I take the contour side. Then to blend out the contour, I take the Crown Brush C4 
36. So this is a duo fiber blending brush. Literally just blend that out. I really should clip my hair back because even it's doing my head in. Now I'm just going to blend out the concealer. So I like to take a Real Techniques money, sp money sponge, I wish, a mini sponge and just blend that all out. I'm just going to go into the Rimmel contour stick again and take the highlight aside and just put that on my cheekbones, my nose, cute his eye, and then like a little bit on the forehead, maybe a, just a little bit on the chin just because I've got a lot of acne down there and I don't want to highlight that today. And then I'll just typically take my finger and just blend that all out. Now I'm going to go in with bronzer. So this is the Elsie bronzer and this is... So now I'm going to go in with bronzer. So this is from Elsie. So this is the bronzer. It's a whole flash before my eyes. So for bronzer today, I'm going to take the Elsie bronzer. So this is in the shade Light. And I'm going to take that on a Spectrum C07. Which is a nice big fluffy brush. I'm actually just going to warm up the skin. This powder does have a lot of kickback. Um, but I don't care because it's beautiful. I'm actually just going to bronze up the temples. And then the cheeks as well. Now I'm just going to highlight the face. So I'm going to go back into the um, I Heart Revolution Goddess of Love Triple Bait Highlighter. You're just going to apply that to the tops of the cheeks and then the tip of the nose as well. Now for blusher, I'm just going to take the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso and I'm also going to take that on the same um, Spectrum brush. So for powder, I'm going to take the Cover Effects Perfect setting powder in translucent light so first of all before I apply any powder I'm just going to take my little sponge and just make sure that I have no creases on the under eyes and to set the under eyes I'm going to take the crown brush C530 now I'm going to take the elf stippling brush with the same powder just swirl that in the brush and then just dust it along the face. I'll avoid typically the highlighter because obviously we want that to stay nice and shiny. Now to finish up the lower lash line, I'm just going to take that same brown shade, which was Churro, and just basically run that along the lower lash line. Take a little bit of necessary as well. Just blend that out a little bit with the crown brush. Then to finish off the eyes, I'm just going to highlight the inner corner back in with the highlighter again. So I'm going to take that on a Spectrum A12 and just pop that on the inner corners. So for lashes today, I'm going to... <laughs> so for lashes today, I'm going to take the L'Oreal Double Extension Black. So this is also waterproof. And then I'm going to take these lashes from Savaitai. So these are in the style Love Struck, which I absolutely love these lashes so before i do that actually i'm going to apply some of the pixie glow mist so just want to give this a good shake before you use it just spray that all over the face drown yourself in it so then i'm just going to take the morphe continuous setting mist i'm just going to spray that all over oh such a fine mist Okay, so lashes are on. So now moving on to lips, I'm going to apply the Dose of Colour Desi and Ke Semi Matte Lipstick in Hey Girl. So I put a little bit of um, lip balm on. So this is Jue Lip Enhancer. Um, just because I like a light wash of colour. Um, so I literally I'll go in light with this as well. So you don't get much pigment, but you get enough to make your lips look nice. And then I like to go in on top with the Jouer Lip Topper. So this is in Skinny Dip. I love a gloss. You don't have to apply a gloss. Okay, so this is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.